Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bracha Hakudash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world angrily called Jesus Christ. Bracha Hakudash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, on the way to worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <coughs> Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity all is a charity. It's Brother Mathathi from the Great Millstone Camp to Branch on Des Moines. And I'm not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet, but it's inspired through the Holy Spirit um, by two videos I had watched uh, late last night. Um, one being uh, from the Apostle uh, Taha. It spoke about um, critical thinking. And the other was um, the Apostle Gabar. And... Um, the title of the lesson, uh, roughly paraphrasing it, uh, is facts that there will be true teachers as well as false teachers. And um, I'm going to tie both of them topics in together because it's key, right? Coming into this faith of ours, critical thinking, right? Well, first off, let's get this. I know Apostle Bar had looked it up. I mean, not Apostle Gabal, I'm sorry. Um, Apostle Ta had looked it up within his lesson. Critical thinking. The objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment, right? What is meant by critical thinking? Critical thinking is the intellectually disciplined process of actively... <clears throat> and skillfully conceptualizing, applying, analyzing, synth synthesizing, and or evaluating information gathered from or generated by observation, experience, reflection, reasoning, or communication as a guide to belief and action, man. Right? And coming into this faith of ours, this is exactly what this wisdom uh, 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 teaches us. It teaches us how to critically think. Now, this is the book of Proverbs 1 and 1. It says the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. Now, when you go into the word perceive, is the Hebrew word bayan, bayana, bayan, which means to discern, understand, or consider, <laughs> right? Critical thinking, to have discernment insight, what it says here in uh, definition number four. It says to be discerning, intelligent, discreet, have understanding. Now, when we just... Look up some of these words. Let's just look up perceive. Oh, damn, let me do that. Oh, yep, yeah, they do. There it is. Let's look up perceive. Become aware or conscience, conscious, I'm sorry, of something. Come to realize or understand, to discern, recognize, distinguish, grasp, understand, make out find comprehend figure out right realize that was one of them and then you have discern understand consider all these starts in the mind right <clears throat> it goes into us thinking upon these things verse three to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity to give subtility to the simple now that word subtility is prudence craftiness discretion as it says down here man and this is what this word gives us right it says to the young man knowledge and discretion now when you go into that word simple it says simplicity or na naivety simple foolish or open-minded that is seducible so we are not to be seducible coming into this faith of ours man we are not to be open-minded you see because this word closes our mind. It gives us the proper way to walk. And we don't need nobody to tell us, well, maybe it's this or maybe it's that. No. <laughs> we know what the will of the Lord is, man, as it tells us in Romans, the 12th chapter. This is Romans 12 and 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the heavenly father. So we understand how to serve the Lord through the precepts. 
You see? Because like Apostle Gabal mentioned within his lesson, it's the book of Malachi 3. In 18, it says, then shall you return. So we're going to return unto y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai, as it's written in Baruch, the second chapter. Right? We're going to remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. We're going to think upon the name of the Lord. As it is written in the book of Isaiah, it says, one shall uh, uh, subscribe by the name of Israel. Another shall surname himself by the name of Jacob. I'm roughly paraphrasing it. So here it is, it's a mass awakening of Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the Israelites that scattered abroad in these different countries. It's a mass awakening of, 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 of Israel, of us realizing who we are. And as we return, what are we supposed to do? Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. You see? And how do we discern between that? Well, Proverbs 1 told us these words, right? This wisdom gives us that, 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 that perception, man. This is the book of 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the heavenly Father. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world, so we try the spirit by the spirit. You might ask, well, what is the spirit? How do or how do I try to try a spirit by the spirit? What is that? Well, this is John chapter six and verse 63. It says it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words is the spirit. So we should try. These guys that say they're prophets, these guys that say they're teachers, we should try them by the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Meaning, you have to go back into the precepts to see if what these guys are saying is so, like the church of Berea did. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17 and 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. And that's our job, man. As believers in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see? Because we don't want to be found trusting in man. We want to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So therefore, the words that these men are teaching, it got to be proven. It got to be searched back to the precepts. Because what do we say? I said in my haste, what is that? Uh, Psalms 116. Let's get that. It's Psalms 116. It's locking. It's Psalms 116 and 10. It says, I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. <laughs> right? All men are liars. But what it would tell us here in Romans? This Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So everything that, that, that us here at Great Millstone start with our apostles and elders, everything we say are, is filtered through the precepts. As the scriptures tell us to do, this is the book of 1 Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the heavenly father. <laughs> you see that? So we're going to speak the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why it says what? This is the book of uh, Psalms. I'm going to come back to this, Peter. Let's go back to the book of Psalms. Let's read 119 and 104. It says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So this is how we're able to discern whether a guy is actually serving the Lord, whether he's actually speaking the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah or not. This is verse um, verse 128. 
Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way, man. So we lean upon the precepts. So this is how we know that these men, and I'm talking about the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the bishops, right? That these men are sent from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It says in Jeremiah, the third chapter, Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, Isaiah 30 and 20, right? Psalms 37, Mark the perfect man. So here it is, all these precepts letting us know that the Lord will send men on this earth to teach us, to guide us in the way of truth. As it is written in Acts the 16th chapter, it was a woman possessed with a, a, a um, with spirits of divination. She had a demon on her and she followed around Paul and, and, and the rest of the brothers. And, and she was saying that these men are the servants of the most high God that show unto us the way of salvation. So there are men on this earth that sh that's paving the way. Who and where are they, man? See, this wisdom, this knowledge is supposed to allow us to discern between who's doing that and who's not. Back in 1 Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the heavenly father. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which the most high giveth, that the most high in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shahamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And there's another one in the book of uh, uh, Rock, man. Right? Because our trust is in these words that's written. And this is how we're, we're we have confidence in, 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 in our apostles and our elders and our in our teachers and our leaders because they're speaking the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Sirach 33 and 3. A man of understanding trusteth in the law, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle, man. And on the side of my 1611. Uh, uh, um, where it says Oracle here on the side, it says Urim and Thummim. Now, what is the Urim and Thummim? The Urim and Thummim in the Hebrew is a uh, a warium watamayim, right? Which means lights and perfection. And this is how the Lord would consult with the high priest in matters of judgment, <laughs> right? Well, the modern day Yom and Thummim is the scriptures we have, man. This is how the Lord is consulting through us or, 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 or consulting to us through the Holy Spirit in the form of the book. <laughs> you see? So we can go back into the precepts to see whether these guys are speaking what's true or not. Whether we're moving in the right spirit or not. Right? Because as it is written in Romans the 8th chapter, we believe that we're the sons of God. Why? Because our spirit, our belief, our mind beareth witness with the spirit, meaning with what's written. You see that? So let's see. Yeah. You know, in his word, is, 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 is meant to give us that prudence you know this this wisdom is meant to give us that insight let's see It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 18. It says, let me see. Because this is a good chapter right here. Verse 17. Now when I considered these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality, and great pleasure it is to have her friendship, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of conference with her prudence, that word prudence, right, is the foresight, to see what's profitable and of a high moral standard. So we can't be like these guys in these other camps, man. Hey, going back to um, when 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 Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, <laughs> you had this uh, the second in command of ISUPK. He gonna say this is what you're supposed to do: go and get some good cocaine, and go be friends with with with, with Will's son. And try to commit adultery with Will's wife. That was that man's counsel, man. 
Then you had a guy call in to uh, 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 to Captain Tazayak, was like, man, I heard him say that, and I was just wondering, you know, it sounded good, but is that is that cool? Is that okay for us to do? Man, you see, a critical thinker already knows that that's off, man. You don't have to call in and ask, oh, is that is that okay for us to have, bro? What does the scripture say, man? See, we we see now the Lord calls us his sheep. And 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 and, and that has a positive um um what's the word I'm looking for? That has a positive um note to it, but it also has a negative, man. Because sheep are, 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 are they, 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 they gullible. You have this saying uh, or you have this term called the herd mentality. The herd mentality. Meaning if everybody going with it, then uh, if the majority of people go with it, then, 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 then that, 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 that's the way to go. No, man. Yeah, we're the sheep of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, but we ought to be sheep that 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 that, that thinks wisely. Right? We ought to be able to, to spot the wolf in sheep clothing, man. We ought to be able to, to know when somebody is is speaking madness. Uh This is the book of um, Sirach 36 and 19. It says, as the palate tastes diverse kinds of venison, meaning your mouth, so doeth in heart of understanding false speeches. Because that's why it tells us here in the book of Job. What is that, Job? 30... This is Job 34 and 3. For the ear trieth words as the mouth tasteth meat. So just like you can taste something, man. Oh, oh that's spoiled. Oh, no, that ain't right. Oh, that's nasty. You're supposed to be able to hear something the same way, man. Right? Because what we're reading and what we're hearing, we're eating. We're digesting these words. Here's another one. Job 12 and 11. Do not, doeth not the ear try words and the mouth taste his meat. So as we hearing these things, we should be able, we supposed to be able to discern, man. We're supposed to be able to discern. Just like the prophecy in Revelation, the 13th chapter concerning the MOTB. Here it is, man. It says that you will not be able to buy nor sell unless you have that, man. You see? So what is that going into? What could that be talking about? Is that talking about sin? You can't buy or sell unless you're a sinner. Huh? You had guys that said, oh, oh, oh Paul had them all. Solomon had them. What? Well, first off, what? who or what is the beast? That has to be understood. Then you'll realize that that beast... <laughs> Wasn't around during the time of Solomon, man. That beast in Revelation 13, it speaks about how it, it had a deadly wound and it was healed. During the time of Paul, that was before the wound was sustained. So it couldn't have been, you see, this, but, but once again, critical thinking, man. Critical thinking, because what, once again, this is Sirach. Um... What is that? Man, I used to know where it is now. I'm having a brain fog. Um, Sirach 27. This is Sirach 27. And four. It says, as when one sifteth with a sieve, the refuse remaineth. So the filth of man is in his talk, and we're supposed to be able to discern and see that, right? Verse 5, 
the furnace proveth the potter's vessel, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. How we reason. See, a lot of these people reasoning wrong, man, and that's going to lead to their destruction. Concerning the MOTB, if your reasoning is not right concerning that, it's going to lead to your destruction. Verse 6, the fruit declared if the tree have been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of man. So just like you can walk past and see a garden and can tell if that garden has been taken care of, if there's a garden there, you can tell if the, you can tell if the bushes has been nice and trim the tree the fruit pruned or you could tell if nobody taking care of it man how it's running wild and and, and weeds and everything everywhere well we're supposed to be able to discern that when men speak as well and once again we all and we get this through the holy spirit through this word through the understanding of the precepts man so that's why it's of the utmost importance that the listeners, man, choose, choose, choose your elders, choose who you listen to wisely, man. You know, if you truly serve in Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, you believe in the Lord in truth and sincerity. Well, then, hey, hey the spirit is going to guide you to the truth, to the uh, to the true leaders. But if you looking for teachers after your own lust, well, then, hey. If the uh, blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch, as our Lord Yahweh Shah said, man. You know? Because many false prophets are going on to the world as it is written at 1 John 4. But that's it, Lord Will. I hope this was edifying. Thawadi Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Barachaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom.